As the deadline looms on the Quebec Nordiques, decisions have to be made. Decisions nobody wants to make. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're back with the Quebec Nordiques. About, I think, a month in the last time we picked up. Got to kind of get everything straight. I'm kind of confused on where we were. Uh, it looks to be, yeah, we were a month in. And a pretty decent start to the season compared to what I expected. I'm not expecting much right now. Um, let's just see how our players are starting. I, I'm pretty sure uh, it wasn't too bad. Yeah, the plus minuses aren't too bad. It looks like we're scoring, but also not being scored on the opposite side of the ice. Uh, top line's producing as expected. Seems to be our fourth line. It's doing pretty well. And um, we'll see our second line struggling a bit. Only a couple points in a few games. But that'll get better. Let's check on our guys in the AHL. Vitaly Kravstov, almost point per game. Just what we want to see. Gonchar, doing Gonchar things. I, I kind of wish we could put a better... A better sniper on that line with them. I might actually go out and get a pretty mid sniper to put with them. They're having a pretty good year too. Seven and four. All right, let's go to free agents. Let's see if we can find like a mid tier sniper to pair with them. And nobody too ridiculous. Just like any better snipers. Here we go. What's this? Dimitri Yaskin, is he like actually a sniper? Eh. Chris Terry. No. Josh Bailey, Justin Bailey, not. Eh. Thomas Yurko. They're all pretty mid. You just need something that's better. <clears throat> Matthew Del Cole. Yeah, let's bring up Del Cole. Grimaldi. Uh, I'm gonna go Doll Call. Okay. Uh. Yeah, so now we have to wait for that to uh, go through. Check some progress reports. See if any where people have grown yet. Doesn't look to be. It's early in the season. We'll check in the system. Yeah, nothing yet. I'm not expecting much right now. Let's uh, let's go in a, another week and see if that. I think it's the second line could pick it up a bit, and uh, if not, we can make changes. Ilya Mikhaev, no, I do not want you for two thirds. Okay, another close game loss. Okay, let's get. Let's get Del Call in. Okay, so we're we're in a lot of close games, which I'm happy about. I'm really happy about that. Alright, here we go. Uh Okay. Edit lines. Soderlund. Sorry, buddy. Oh, we get I we had Svechnikov this whole time down here? That's crazy. Okay. Svetch, go in there. Okay, okay. We can take out. We can move him here. Oh no, he's shit on face offs. Put the call on. Okay. I like it, I like it, I like it. Okay. Much better. Much, much better. Okay, let's get back to the meat and potatoes here. And let's advance a few more days. Shocking enough, we haven't been hit with the injury bug yet. But I probably shouldn't have said that. Jinx us. You might be questioning why I have Gonchar playing in the AHL. I just, I, I don't want to stunt his growth too much. I feel like a, a season in the AHL will be perfectly fine. He could get a season under his belt. And we just went on a ridiculous win streak. What's that? Two, 
five, seven game win streak up against some really good opponents. Seattle, New York, Tampa, Winnipeg. It's, that's a really nice stretch of games. Really nice stretch. Let me go another week here. Uh, send me Mikhaev again. Why, why would I give you a second and a fourth now? Okay, that's a tough loss to Edmonton. All right. Oh, my God, another tough loss to Minnesota and a big bounce back win. No, we don't want Alex Kerfoot. All right, let's go and see if our second line. Valeri Nachushkin playing a lot better. Let's see how our second line's doing compared to where they were. See how we're stacking up against the league. <clears throat> Goals four. Where are we at? Did we go up? Oh my god. Did I pass Quebec? There we are. Okay. Alright, so it went up a bit. Goals against per game went down. I remember last time we were up at like three something. So that's really nice. Oh my god, yeah. Look at that. Top four in the league goals against per game. We just got to get that goals for per game going up, and I think we've got something cooking here. <clears throat> power play. Power play still kind of shit, but I think it's middle of the pack. Yeah, middle of the pack power play. And our PK. PK looks like it's good. Oh my, 93% penalty kill. That's crazy, Colorado. Middle of the pack, PK. Okay, so I'm not too mad at that. Not too mad. Check out the point production. The guys are doing it. DeBrus picked it up. That's good to see. Van Riemsdyk's playing okay. Dobson's doing well. Sam Steele picked it up. Matthew Joseph's still struggling. Hmm. Is it time we move Matthew Joseph down? He's playing third line. I don't... I can move Bukestad up. Bukestad's playing a little better. But now I don't have a center. Yeah, I don't know if I want to do that. I think I'm going to keep it. I'm going to let them work out their kings. I can move Sam Steele. Or try to get Matthew Joseph going on the second line. <clears throat> but most of the other stuff I really don't want to touch. Defensively, this is our bottom pairing, but we're not too worried about them. Shillington needs to pick it up. We need to get a better coach for these guys. But, let's check goalies. Billy Huso. Oh my god. Oh, Billy. I knew you were a savior. And Logan Thompson's doing outstanding too. Okay, so. Goaltending doesn't seem to be an issue. Defensively, it doesn't seem to be an issue. It's just goal scoring. If goal scoring goes up, I, I really do think we have something going on here. I really do think. Let's go another another week or week and a half. Oh, my God. Goal scoring. What are we doing, guys? Oh. Jesus. It's like when we lose, it's either closer or blowout. Good back-to-back -back wins there. Oh, my God. I'm not liking those, uh, those like, 6-2 games, 6-1, 7-2, 5-1. I'm not, it's not anything nice to look at. Okay, let's go another week here. We got San Jose, Dallas. Tough loss to San Jose. Uh, again, another ugly loss to Dallas. Shutout win versus Boston. And another ugly loss versus Minnesota. What's going on with the goal scoring, guys? What is happening? What are we doing? First line's fine. We're not getting much production on the second line. Maybe you need to move Sam Steele. How's Ross Cole? Ross Cole has the same amount of points on the third line. I'm moving Ross Colton up then. D 
The end of Janelle is 25 points. We need to move Janelle up then, huh? But this this fourth line's playing so well, so I don't know if I want to break them up. This second line's struggling, though. I really want to, like, I want to keep Nichushkin up there for, for trade value. But I, I don't record. I really want to get JVR. JVR is, JVR playing base is 28 points. Maybe 50, maybe 50 point kind of guy. If we want to get him going for this trade deadline, maybe we do. We move him up there, because we're keeping Raquel. Raquel's staying with us. Okay. All right. We're gonna try to get trade, trade, various trade value up there going. Maybe, maybe spark that first line a bit. Get a goal scorer going. Let's check the AHL. Tally Kravtsov. We love to see it. Is there Gonchar right behind? Or Valeri Gonchar? He's up to an 80 overall now. Says he's ready for the league, but you're going to have a full year down there to grow. Full year. He's producing just like we thought. <clears throat> Sammy Niku. Holy crap. Goalies. Shogren's playing amazing. DPHO's playing all right. Everything looks looks good for the first year in Quebec. I'm, I'm not complaining. Like I said, I wasn't expecting to make the playoffs. There was a possibility to make the playoffs. But we have a few guys we just want to produce. So then at the trade deadline, we could ship them off. Maybe get a first for them. Uh, hopefully get a first. Like I said, surprisingly, no uh, no injuries. Wow, really nice stretch there. Okay. I think it's time to start doing some scouting. If I checked off. Win, 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 win. Okay, so that's a really nice stretch of games right there. We're going to go to our scouting. It just reminded me. Draft class. Connor Bedard. Connor Bedard. Hmm. Hmm. We don't need another playmaker. Another playmaker similar to. I'd like to know what this guy is. It says he's a two way. Two way with one T though? I don't know if he's a two way. It's 5 9. He, there's no way he's a two way. He's 5 9. On a Bedard. Anybody late? Let's see. Pekka Salmonen. Salmonen. Might have X factors. Seventeen again. He's five nine. He might be a sniper. We could pin him. So cut. We gotta do a little bit more scouting to uh, completely unravel them. But all right, let's get to scouting. Now that scouting is done, I want to put you through that torture. We can look at progress reports. See if anybody grew yet. And let's check. Nobody from our, it looks like, we're not going to have too many players on our team because they're pretty older. Gonchar. Natural growth is what you want to see. Statistical growth, it's pretty self-explanatory. If they're playing well, uh, statistically, like putting up points, they'll get stack growth. But it doesn't stay with them. It's just for that season. Natural growth stays forever. So it looks like his deking, hand-eye passing, puck control went up. Discipline and offensive awareness went up. Defense awareness went up. That's nice to see. And it looks like that's about it. That's everything you want to see in a playmaker, especially. He's still at an 80 overall. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. All right. That's our only real uh, big name prospect. But we can't really complain. I think the trade, led, trade deadline is coming up. Yes, it is. Okay. So we can sim up to the deadline. <clears throat> And decide what exactly is the plan for Quebec. Because we don't know if we can go on a win streak right here. 
and maybe be in a playoff spot, but it doesn't look like it. But um, there are a few guys we have to decide if they're staying, if they're a part of the plan. It looks like we are last in our division, but not entirely by much. <clears throat> not by much. Uh, Ten points. Uh, yeah, 11 points to the playoff spot. Let's check out <clears throat> the league and see where we stack up. See if playoffs are actually a possibility. I don't think so. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't look like playoffs is a possibility this season, which, like I said, isn't a terrible thing. Let's see where we stack an entire league and see if we're okay. So we're a top top five pick right now. We're picking fourth. <clears throat> Shocking that New York and I mean not Philadelphia be down here. Philadelphia's got forty eight points. That is bad. Arizona's. What are these teams? Pittsburgh, New York, and the Flyers. What's going on in the Metro this year? What is going on in the Metro? Okay, so it looks like we <clears throat> potentially could have a top five pick, which I'm I'm happy about. Which I'm happy about. All right, let's see, points-wise, how are we doing? How are the guys doing? Plus-minus has got pretty bad. Yeah, I know. Matthew Joseph just hasn't been... Hasn't been too great. Neither is Sam Steele. It's it's honestly disappointing, to say the least. Production is is terrible. We don't have a single guy's point per game. JVR, like I said, he's going to score 20 goals. He should be a 30-goal scorer at this pace, at that rate. DJ Oshie's doing okay, I guess. I think Raquel is the only real guy who is staying. I would... I would Nichushkin, he's going to want a lot of money. I don't think he's he's staying. <sighs> Oshi, we can keep for a little bit longer. I think Raquel and Oshi, we keep Nichushkin, Van Riems, like out the door. Yeah, I think that's it's the answer. Let's check. Uh, let's check how our HL guys are doing. Beautiful, fifty-six points. Beautiful. Vitaly's playing really well, too. He looks like he's ready for the NHL. Just what we want to see. Oh, that's really nice. Okay. Look at that. Two, 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 two. Repeating numbers. Good luck. That's good luck. All right. And it looks like the Angel team's actually playing really well in a playoff spot. Or just, just out of a playoff spot. Okay. All right. Deadline. Um, I don't like entering the deadline um, interface. I'll do it this one time for you guys just to show you what it looks like. But typically, I like to work a day before, do all my trades and stuff this first day, and then just sim past the deadline. But I'll, I'll sim up to the deadline, show you guys what the interface looks like. It's it's interesting. We're a seller. There's nothing new about that. Okay. Enter trade deadline. And yeah, it just shows you the people that are available. Shows you teams that want them, the asking price, all that jazz. But yeah, like there's Nachushkin. He's a definitely guy we want to trade. Okay, find trade to find a trade for Nachushkin. Here you have a second, second, second. This is what the, the the game will give you. I think I could somehow get more out of him. Maybe a late round first. Um, let's look at, I want to see the standings, just to see what teams are, are top of the league that would be interested in a guy like Nachushkin, Colorado, Edmonton, Winnipeg, Boston. Okay. So the usual suspects besides, well, wow, Ottawa and Montreal, it's crazy. Okay. I like to try to find those teams that are like bubblish that are like, okay, if we, we acquire this guy, he could put us over the edge and get us to the playoffs, but it could also backfire. They fall out, could potentially become a lottery pick. So let's go and look through these teams. Like Anaheim's an interesting one. They have cap space. Hmm. Chicago maybe. Columbus maybe. Detroit. Let's, let's put them up here and see who's interested. 
Yeah, I know how this works, man. Come on now. Down the Chushkin. Okay. Looks like Minnesota's interested in him. Hmm. Minnesota's, a, what's that, 60, 65 points? What would we want from them? We'd obviously want their first, right? They're not willing to part their first. It's not nice. Nashville. The Islanders are interested in them. Could we somehow... I don't think so. It's too much value. Vancouver is a conservative buyer. Would they give up their first? Vancouver be over the... Okay, so we can retain this because it'll only be for this year. <clears throat> so it won't hurt us. <clears throat> so I'm not too worried about that. We'll retain 50%. Call it a day. We might have added a bit more, but I'm hoping not to. Vancouver's first. Maybe we can snag like a fifth. Uh, I'll take a fifth next year. Maybe a first and a fifth for the balance Chushkin. We could live with what you're sending us, but the, not in this deal. We're woefully insufficient, so we're nowhere close. It's filling, but it's nowhere it needs. Okay. We have an extra fourth. Val Nachushkin a fourth for Vancouver and a sixth? No. Still not enough. Doesn't look like a fourth is going to get it done either. Any skaters are interested in? Looks like they all to be defensemen. Shillington's not playing much like an offensive defenseman, is he? Is it because who he's paired with? They're interested in DiPietro. Would DiPietro, <clears throat> Nechuski and DiPietro get that done? And add in like that fourth? No. Okay, maybe the value is a bit too much for Vancouver. Columbus, maybe that's seventy two points. I would love to do Minnesota. But they do oh my. Straight up. Maybe give them their fourth back. Cause you see how slim they are in draft picks. They could use a fourth. It's not sufficient at all. They like Rawls Colon. A lot. Give up Ross Cole. Keep our fourth. I feel like we're in the... I think we're close. I think we're going to be close. Give us a fourth for next year then. Fifth from next year? Maybe it just has to be straight up. I'll go seventh. All right, Ross Colin, Val Nachushkin for Minnesota's first overall pick. I'm not, I'm not made at that. 
Not mad at that. Okay, so now we can define a trade for JVR. But it doesn't look like JVR is giving much trade value. Yeah. No trades found for JVR. Okay, that's fine. We just got to do it on our own. I don't expect much here. Uh, I'm kind of shocked at the the value JVR is fetching. I thought of it a bit more. But. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Our JVR. Anybody interested in him? Boston? Do your first for JVR straight up? No way we fetch that. Maybe two seconds? They don't have a second. Oh, okay, you're not going to Boston then. Edmonton likes him. Minnesota likes him again. Do we do we bury Minnesota? We could retain again. It's only for a year. Take more from Minnesota. Maybe a prospect in a pick. I doubt it. They're still over the cap. We'd have to take a player back. <clears throat> you give a second and a third. And let's go do here. They have eight bad contracts. Let's see. For a year. Matt Dumba, no way. Jordan Greenway, no. It goes through, but I don't know. Okay, so I don't know if we get maybe a second and just just no. Travi, then a Travis saying I'm. Oh, I love him. Okay, I mean maybe, maybe a fourth and a third. No, just a third. And we'll give you your fourth back if you give us a third. Really? Okay, screw you then. Nashville wants them. They're getting big contracts. Golden Sissons, Oy Vey. Here we go. Noel Chari. Still doesn't put them... Wow, look how close that is. That's crazy. Okay, so it needs to be a little bit more like a 2 mil. That's so bad. Maybe not Nashville. New Jersey. Here you are for a third and a, f and a third this year and a fourth next year. Matter block needs. What if we take your third next year? How about that? You got a, you got a couple of them. And it will take a six this year. Okay, so we can get that. So maybe we can get a little bit more. What about a fourth? No, okay. So fourth is too high. Fifth? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right, I think we do that. JVR for third and a fifth. I'm happy with that. Is there anybody else on the team... That we could potentially trade. Good to call some people up, I think. But that's not an issue. That is not an issue. 
Uh, Ryan Merkley grew a bit. It's nice to see. Nobody else is really on a big contract. So, yeah, I think that's about it. I think that's all the moves we make. And uh, we go from there. I'm happy with how the deadline worked. I'm happy with that. Really happy with that. Okay. Uh, we have to fix the lines up now because, of course, they said we called up Gonchar. He's not staying up here. I mean, says he's ready for third line. We'll see how he does for a week. Oh, no. All right, we'll keep paling. Oh, these lines are bad. Can Debrusk play? No. Okay, so I want to keep a sniper alongside um, Gonchar. I would like a power forward with him. I want Raquel and Oshi together. Okay. Bunch of two way fours in that first line, but that's that's not always gonna be like that. We'll give we'll give Gonchar a uh, uh some playing time. Oh they absolutely butchered these lines I see. Okay. Much better. Much, much better. The question, all right, we'll give him a week. Let's see how many points, we'll see how many points he has in the NHL, okay? So the first to the seventh, okay. So that's a win. Loss. A win. Another win, wow. Okay, and that's that. Okay, let's see how Gonchar did. Four points in four games, a minus two. He's point per game. We'll keep him up here for another game. We'll keep, I mean, we'll keep him up here for another week, and we'll see how he does. If he stays at a point per game level, I'm I'm inclined to keep him. But the second it starts declining, uh, I'm not sure. Okay. We were in the realm of getting a top five pick, but I don't know about that anymore. Okay, let's go another... Another couple games here. Oh, that's a lot more games than I wanted, but it's okay. We'll stop them um, after the Dallas game. Okay. We know Dre Clay is done. Okay. Let's see how our boy did. DJ Oshie's now leading the team in points with only 49. It's, it's grim. Very grim. Okay. Mm. <clears> hmm. <throat> Seven and ten. There's only a few more games left. Do I just keep him up here and let him get this little bit of a experience? Or I'm gonna I'm gonna keep him up. I'm gonna keep him up. I think I th I think he's ready for it. There's only a few more games left. It, it can't really stunt his growth that much. Right now we're just we're we're absolutely hoping we lose out for the rest of the season. Can't make the playoffs. Okay, continue to lose. We got a win versus Montreal. Let's kick it up to the end of the season and go from there. Wow, we're winning. Okay, lose. We beat Detroit. Okay. All right. Didn't we trade for Minnesota's first? I don't think Minnesota made the playoffs, guys. <laughs> I don't think Minnesota made the playoffs. Did GMJ come through with another uh, deadline steal of a first-round pick? Maybe lottery? Um, 
Let's see how the rest of the team stacked up. Ricardo Kell led us in points. There wasn't a real uh, goal score on that line, so I'm not too worried about that. Jake DeBrusk had a 15-goal season. Tanner Janot, he was playing really well early season. He kind of just declined. Shillington was Shittington. Gonchar had 13 points, a plus one in 20 games. I'm I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Let's see how uh, Vitaly did. Beautiful. Look at Vitaly. A 40. He, see what happened when he had Gonchar on his on his line? 40 goal score in the AHL. 40 goal score. Let's check progress reports. And then the draft class and see what we got going on. Anybody in the league grow? Okay. Gonchar still got seven. Nothing. Not much more growth. He could take a, a jump in the offseason, so I'm not too worried about that. In the system. Okay, here's our rookies. Is Mr. Got a good, good chunk. Joe Ma. Jason Ma. I'm always going to call him Joe Ma. I don't know why. Uh, Tyrone Hopkins got good growth. Angstrom got good growth. Ryan Merkley, pretty good growth. A great season in the AHL. Really good natural growth. That's nice. Kravstov uh, got none, but he could take a jump in the offseason. And let's check out the draft class or a draft board. No, we don't want draft board, draft class. Anybody that we love. Telkvist. It's like Timu Solani. Haltonen. Do you have any steals? Pekka Simon Selmanin. Selmanin? Might be good. Might be a late round target. Max Patch already. Do you have any low elites? No, not too many low elites. But he's a gem, so that could be something to look after. See if any more gems. A few of them. Halton and this guy is a gem. Benson and, and Telkfist. These are all busts, they're saying. <laughs> That's funny. Let's see where Minnesota finished off, and then uh, we'll hop on out of here. In the league, Minnesota. Okay, so we're, we're, we, could, we are projected the second overall pick, so we could get Telkvist, the sniper, to pair alongside with Gonchar. That could be interesting. Minnesota, oh, that wasn't the second overall pick. I'm slow. Frick. That was the division. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we're top six. It's kind of unfortunate. Those last couple wins really screwed us at the end of the season. It's a, uh, Minnesota is, is a lottery team. Minnesota is a lottery team, ladies and gentlemen. All right, uh, I think we're going to hop on out of here. We will check back next time with the draft, the lottery, free agency, and the second season for your Quebec Nordiques.